For the kitchen right now, Patrick Little is with Ted's Montana's Grill. Pat? All right, with Mike and Raul from Ted's Montana Grill. Good morning, fellas. Nothing Patrick. like a little bison meatloaf for <laughs> breakfast, right? <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to trying this. So uh, this is one of those, uh, you talk about the fall, colder temperatures, you know, yep. something to warm the heart. Uh, so what do you got here? Well, uh, of course, it is our bison, our natural bison. It's uh, steroid-free. Uh, we start that off. We uh, will first cook our vegetables, saute them. Then we'll uh, add some eggs, some parsley, a uh, pinch of thyme, our Ted seasoning, the black pepper, half and half, some Heinz ketchup, and then on top we're going to roast it with our, uh, our meatloaf glaze for a few minutes, get a nice little flavor on there. And then we're going to mix it in with some breadcrumbs, uh, mix that all up, portion it up, uh, shape it up, and then we'll cook it for you. Raul, one of the more popular dishes, I imagine, this time of year? Absolutely. Place? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it, it's one of those dishes that... Um, remind you of a home cooked meal um, so I mean, it's one of those things where when the fall and the winter comes it's it's a very popular dish oh it looks like it needs to be consumed <laughs> later <laughs> in the show short. it will be all right guys good to see you again as always you can find the recipe online at foxprovidence.com much more from the kitchen with this bison meatloaf coming up a little bit but for now let's send it back over to you Send it on over to Lily, who's in the kitchen, making meatloaf. Hey, Lily. That's right. Knowledge is power, Mel, and the knowledge of making veggies will power your <laughs> colons. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so let's make some veggies this morning. What are we doing, guys? All right, we're just going to saute uh, some onions, green peppers, with some garlic. Now, there, this is, I, we're, I, I said veggies, but there's such a little tiny bit of it. Well, we're only making one meatloaf, so it's not that much. All right, you fair enough. You overpower the bison. But it is neat to sneak them in, to sneak in the veggies, because <laughs> then, then sometimes the kids don't notice. They only, uh, they only see the, uh, the meatiness and mm -hmm. the deliciousness. Now, you guys also like it because not only do you uh, chock this full of veggies, but uh, bison meat is also a, a healthier meat. It is. It's much healthier than uh, beef. It's uh, lower in cholesterol, uh, fat. It's... Um, Organic and it's free range, uh, no steroids, hormones. So it's uh, definitely a healthier choice compared to beef. So Mike can put in a little butter, a little bit of, is that yellow onion? Uh, yes, that's the uh, butter onion. And some green peppers that are chopped up, and I'm, I'm guessing, is that garlic? Some fresh garlic. Fresh Very garlic. nice. And we're going to saute that in a little bit of butter, right? That's correct. I won't take long. How long will, you take, will it take? Uh, just a couple minutes to get the nice uh, translucent color. And then what will we do with it? Uh, we're going to put it on the sheet tray here to cool off for a few minutes. And uh, when we come back, we'll go ahead and mix it in the meatloaf and uh, pop it in the oven. Ah, so you don't burn your hands. <laughs> That's it makes perfect sense. Or cook I, the meat. <laughs> I would have burned my hands. Uh, so we'll come back and do that in just a second. In the meantime, the recipe and ingredients are online at foxprovidence.com. Back over to you guys. All right, bison meatloaf. I got it right here. Coming in hot. Right? Right, Micah? Absolutely. Ted's Montana Grill here. No steroids, no other fancy stuff in that, no, sir, in that just meat. Bison. Just meat. It's just bison. Just spice. Demands <laughs> meal here, right? <laughs> That's yeah. right. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to say that Patrick said that when this was done, he was just going to take it in his hands and eat it like a big burger. All right. If you just throw all the ingredients He's a manly in the man. Just throw it right there? That's right. Everything? Uh, yeah. Let's see. So let's start off with the parsley, a little chopped okay. parsley. We already have a, an egg and a half in here. Egg and a half? Egg and a half. What, what do you two? do with the other half? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> do you really? Egg and a half? That's right. That's right. We're making right. one loaf here, so we, we got to... Well, if you only have one <laughs> loaf, then you only need an egg and a half. that whole thing in there? That's right. Everything is portioned out. I put already. all the salt and pepper in there, but not the whole egg. Right, right. Well, right, exactly. uh, Ted seasoning right there. We're gonna Which throw one's that Ted's seasoning right there? Yeah, that's right. What's right. in the Ted seasoning? Well, I could tell you, but... Uh, yeah, I we know that the rest. Every yeah. time. <laughs> and just, just see if I catch them off guard. Well, smell it. Let me, let me see. You smell it? Yeah, but I can't. You sure? It smells kind of pepper. How cute. No. All right. We'll never know. We'll never know. Mike, I'm going to stuff you in that refrigerator if you don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some uh, dry time here. It is back to school here. time, isn't it? <laughs> stuff in the lockers. lockers. Okay, what? Speaking of time, we have some time right there. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. Pump. Someone's getting comfy in the kitchen on A the lunch. A little half and half there half as well. Half and half over here. That's the whole a surprise. Thing? Is that in um, your typical meatloaf recipe? Well, you need a little bit of cream, a little bit of liquid in mm -hmm. there to bind okay. together. Uh, some ketchup there. I ketchup. didn't actually cook till I was on the road show, so I, everything was a surprise <laughs> to me, I'll be honest. A little bit of ketchup. All right, and now we're just going to mix this all around. Okay. Make this With uniform. your egg and a half. That's right. That is it's so fun. Is egg that mind-boggling? I know. All right. All right, so what now. What happens if you do two eggs? Oh, you don't want to know. It's just not pretty. <laughs> all right. The bison gets up and leaves. Right, right. All right. I am not taking this. <laughs> you want to let me handle the meat? 
If you'd like to, go ahead and mix that up. Oh, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and right. you really want to get in there with your hands and really, you know, that's the best tool, right? Well, if you have a, a mixer, that would be better. Okay. Put it on a low setting, mix it up for but about a minute. the love, Micah, doesn't right. it? What well, did you like say? personal touch. It, it'll definitely taste better if you do it with the love. Now, what we've also done is over here on this um, parchment paper, you can see that we put our sautéed onions, garlic, and green peppers. And that was there to cool, right? That's right. If okay. you would... Uh, just throw these. Uh, Put that in there. That's right. So okay. So I'll just and then do. We're also going to throw in the uh, breadcrumbs as well. Okay. And I'll do one of these. Mike, there's a there's a delicate glove shifting process that's going on. You know what? Doing all this. I just realized something. Mike is like a jockey. You know, like the jockeys yeah, yeah, yeah. wear like the three or four sets of goggles. Yeah. And they flip them off and they <laughs> yeah. got a clean pair. He's got like three sets of gloves on. He rips them off and it's another set He's is right ready. there. Well, you definitely want to be sa safe and sanitary in the kitchen. Okay, that's so true. this in there? Absolutely. The whole thing? All right, so that's What do you got there? In. Rich crackers? <laughs> that's uh, our Texas toast we ground up. Oh, okay, okay, I thought it was going to be a secret breadcrumb recipe. No, nothing mean. secret about breadcrumbs. Okay. <laughs> So we're just going to mix that up nice and good. And you can see it's coming together, all holding together because of that egg and a half. That's right, and the breadcrumbs help it hold together as well. Okay. All right. Gets it from going soupy to a little. Uh... So we're all gonna right. So I'm going to you do that, and I'm going to. Well, is this going to be hot when I take this out? Of I, the, I imagine so. I will give you this a mapine. All right. And so uh, we're going to take it out. We're going to form it about uh, two inches high, about five inches wide, and eight inches in length. Okay. It's going to give you the proper. Uh, Proper size there. For and you then, you, do you cover this with barbecue sauce or anything like that? Well, right uh, before we take it out, we're going to cover it with our homemade meatloaf glaze. But in the meantime, that. I will stick it in the oven. How hot do we want this oven to be? Uh, that's going to be at 325. Cook it till it has about an internal temperature of 140. Then we'll put the meatloaf glaze on there, which is basically just uh, chili sauce, uh, brown sugar, and balsamic vinegar. I clearly cool. do not know how to use the oven. Okay, <laughs> excellent. And I see that you plated this up. That's correct. Yes. For we, Patrick. We All right, have. I will enjoy that. And uh, as always, you can find the recipe online at foxprovidence.com. Micah from Ted Mon Ted's Montanaville, thank you for joining us once again. And thank I will you. try to figure out how to work the oven. I will. Good luck. <laughs> Michelle needs no help in forecasting weather. Hi, Michelle. Uh, well, it's easy today.